All right, guys, what's going on? Welcome in. So the trade deadline is officially passed and the Jets didn't do anything. Uh, Joe Douglas, this front office, they passed. Um, we are not adding a single player. And, you know, I, I, to be honest with you, I can't say I'm too surprised. This is like the classic Joe Douglas. It seems like in selling situations, he can, you know, pull off some really good trades. But as far as like the buying, right, when you're going out and adding a piece, it's just something that he doesn't really do a whole lot of, right? We've seen uh, Joe Douglas has been here for years on end. And I can't really remember, you know, the off season where, uh, or sorry, the trade deadline where he's gone all in or, you know, made a couple splash moves here and there. It's typically, you know, around the waiver wire, right? He's he like he's pretty active in that market. So, you know, I, I got to be honest, I'm pretty disappointed. Is it the end of the world? No. The Jets are four and three. We're still in a great position. We still have favorable games down the stretch here, which is a huge, huge plus. But, you know, ideally you would want to add another piece, whether it's, uh, you know, wide receiver and offensive lineman. You know, one move that really irritated me was uh, Ezra Cleveland going from Minnesota to Jacksonville for a sixth round pick. Like, are you kidding me? If that, you know, it, it, to, to me, that's a move that the Jets have got to make. You got to make that move if that was the compensation. So, man, it, it is what it is. Again, it's not the end of the world. It's not like the season is over, the sky is falling or anything like that. But uh, man, it's um, it's frustrating to say the least. And, you know, I, I know there's been a lot of talk about wide receiver, Quillen Sutton, Jerry Judy, uh, Hunter Renfro, right? All these different, Adam Thielen, all these different guys. Uh, and there's been some talk about, you know, offensive linemen as well. But in the end, the Jets pass. And to me, this is the front office basically saying that we're okay. We're, we're, we're okay with what we currently have and we're fine with the players that we got. That's what this is sending to me. You can make an argument. Well, hold on. You can, you know, what about compensation? What if he wasn't, you know, getting the, the, the trade uh, kickback or, you know, what, what if the compensation was too high on some of the players that would have been upgrades? That's fair. That is totally fair. But again, in the, in the case of Ezra Cleveland, it's like a sixth round pick. That is to me an absolute steal for the Jacksonville Jaguars. So, uh, yeah, I, I gotta be honest. I'm, I'm a bit disappointed. Anyway, let me know your thoughts down below in the comment section. Thanks so much for watching. And as always go Jets.